You're having a breakdown, a stress response. Your power is kicking in to save you. It created me. You did. And you're British? Like I said, I'm your rational mind. Congratulations, Yage-san. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. On winning a March 11-second uh, club competition. This is amazing. I love 2D stuff. Uh, I was 2D trained, so every time I see 2D stuff, I'm always very happy. Um, my name is Jason Martinson. Uh, I'm an animator uh, and a mentor at Animation Mentor since 2006. Um, if you want to know more about me, you can check out my website. Uh, here it is, jmartinson.com. And I've worked on a lot of projects over the years. You can see several of them here for Nad Storks, Hotel Transylvania, Cloudy, uh, lots of video games, Iron Man, Ice Age, all that stuff. Fun stuff. Lots of different styles. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, I love the designs. I love the concept. Uh, and let's just play it, play it to watch it through here once. You're having a breakdown, stress response. Your power is kicking in to say it created me. You did. And you're British. Like I said, I'm irrational. I like the idea, too, of, the, of bringing his uh, violin to life. Is, it, is, is he crazy or is this really happening? Um, I don't really have any animation notes, per se. Uh, the animation is great. It's a very stylized form of animation where you go into a move and into a hold, into a move into a hold. It's a, it's a great style of animation. Um, I love the way you're using the um, instruments, <laughs> pieces as arms. I think it's awesome and it's working great. And uh, I think the acting choices you have are really nice. There's a couple of things uh, um, that I might have done differently that I can mention, but I think overall it's great. Um, so yeah, like this pose reads really well. It's very, he's very depressed, lost in and thought, you know, he's got the, the great C shape. The silhouette is clear. You can read his hand holding the, is that a violin or a cello, whatever the string is there. I like that you have this nice, big, long anticipation for this to kind of come alive and unroll. So it gives the audience time to understand that something strange is happening here. Obviously, what would be nice if you were going to put this on like a demo reel would be to have some sort of ambient background noise. So it's not completely silent before he starts talking. Think of where he is. Maybe it's like ambient sound of like a clock in the distance, or maybe he's in a city and you hear distant city noises, or it's raining outside. I don't know, anything really. You're having a breakdown. Um, and all the expressions are great. Like you have some super pushed, I like the eyes pushed on the side of the head here. Um, and, you know, nice asymmetrical poses on the violin guy with his arm. Stress response. You'll this, this hand to the face really pristine. It's very graphic, very stylized. It's great stuff. Power is kicking into... I love the asymmetry, how he pushes his jaw over and the fleshiness. All that is awesome. This hand, this pose is really nice and graphic, really clear read. It's a, it created. Their eye contact is really good and strong. You can really tell where they're looking. You did. And you're British. Lots of squash and stretch here on the blink in the head. It feels great. Like here, I could really feel a nice squash and stretch. Like I said, I'm no rational mind. <laughs> um, so a few things that I think could help, potentially. Uh, one is, at the start, he's staring down kind of at himself. And uh, that's, that's a good eye direction for when you're in, in introspective thought. Like, looking to the left and to the right. Uh, this is accessing like visual memories and that's audio memories and then down, you know, is much more internal, but there's something about <clears throat> the way this is set up that I think staring straight into space would be a nice way to start it. Like he's completely lost in his head, whereas down is, is you're thinking something over. So if you started with him kind of looking into space and then somewhere, you know, around here or a second in or so, he, he does have an eye dart down, down. It would keep him alive for that first bit rather than just being still. There's something going on. And then he would look down along with this sigh. So basically he's looking up for a while and then he looks down and then sighs. And when you're gonna do a pupil shift, do it over two frames so it gets there like 90% of the way in the first frame and then the last five or 10% on the second frame. So it's not just popping on one frame like I drew here. Um, 
but that'd be I think a cool uh, addition that wouldn't be too hard to do if you wanted to go back. Uh, I like how soft and flowery that is. I like that it's not a snappy movement. You're having a break. And I think this reaction is great. This first reaction is like, huh? But it feels like a little bit too early. Like if you could push it a few frames later, uh, that would be cool. I'm not sure how possible that is with these, if they're on separate layers or not. Having a break. And then what you have going on here is you have a, a, he, a look. He looks at him. Yeah, stress. And then he looks forward and then he does a hand contact Response. and it's kind of like three little mini takes. We're just totally fine, but it might be nice to add a few in-betweens to maybe the third one, the hand one. So they're not all the same tempo. So it's not just bump, bump, bump. Right. So if the third one was just like oh, a little slower instead of poof right now, he almost slaps himself in the face. You're having a breakdown. One, Stress two, response. Three. I do like the violence of it. So maybe the second one could be slower. Uh, you, I, basically, I'm just trying to mix it up so there's more texture in the animation. So you don't just have like, bum, 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 three hits in a row. And it's not something that is necessary, but it might be a nice touch. You're having a breakdown, stress response. Yep. But I love the expression change here too. Well, that one could be slower. This one also could be slower, but you'd have to maybe reanimate that call. Uh, overlap on this thing because if he comes up slower it's not going to jiggle around as much and if you're going to do i like how this is uh leading with the arm but if you're going to do this super sm smashy move here it could be cool if as he, like this frame and this frame his he head or sorry this frame and this frame his head is actually moving in a little bit and so he's like, anticipating the contact and then when it hits, it pops back more. So it's like more of a, his body's kind of coming towards it and then boom, back. It might read better and feel more, even stronger. Um, Response, your power is... And there's a few gestures, uh, I think, on this guy where you could maybe push it farther. Like, I'm not sure if it would be right, but if you just went totally straight here, it would be a more graphic read. And this is a pretty cartoony thing. There's, there's room for it. Right, rather than like sort of bent arms, these aren't. This is not as strong a pose. This is a kind of a strong pose. This is like a little weaker. This is stronger because you got this graphic thing. I mean, you could even go as far as like really, I don't know, bowing it. Something like that in both arms. Is kicking into. And I love this gesture. I I think this is great. I, I feel like it would be clasped together, but it works like this too. So it created me. You did. Oh, one other note I had was um, I, I like this British guy, but it'd be nice if you delayed his eyes opening a little bit longer. So if, like, as he unrolls, his eyes stay closed and then they open right as he starts talking. So he's like, and then you're having a breakdown. So he's, yeah, mm -hmm. you're having a breakdown. Could be, it could be an easy way to, an easy fix. And it, it could be a nice touch because it brings him to life right at the last second. Um, stress response. Your power is kicking in to say it created me. I really like how you're slightly bowing the uh, stem here too, just to get a little bit of ambient movement through the body. This move is really nice too. He turns with his head and his he head and his arm, and then there's the second kind of rise, and then this shift here they all feel really nice and organic and connected like here his shoulders are dropping his cheek is still moving everything's kind of moving together i love all these forces you have going on feels really good you did this drift out here with the elbow maybe is a bit much because it comes in comes out and then comes in again i might not have this elbow come out it's like distracting a bit from what's important which is here so maybe i would keep this a little more contained in this spot you did. Kind of moves out and in really quick there. It's not necessary. Created me. You did. And then there's a sound you don't quite capture in your lip sync. So one way to do that would be maybe to have his mouth stay closed more lo longer and then you did. You open it here, but the sound doesn't start till here. So you can go 
But what if it was closed and then, you know, it's almost like this. You have the body movement. You did. But I want to see the face go during that time or the mouth. You did. And maybe something in the eyes. The eyes kind of stay in the same expression. So maybe if they were. Uh, maybe on this move, when he brings his elbows in, if you kind of got a little more tension, they closed a bit more. And then on the breath, they can open back to where they were. Just a little bit, not like a total close, but it's a relaxing, uh, relaxing when he goes into this pose around 200 or 207. And then when the breath happens, you did on 220, he goes back to this expression and this mouth shape is super appealing and asymmetrical. I love the arm crossing. This might be nice, a nice time to have a blink on him when he crosses his arms and comes back, a slow blink. And you're British. Like I said, I'm irrational mind. And then the only other acting option I, I think on this guy is his last line. You could, on I'm your rational mind, close his eyes again, kind of put him back to in an inanimate. So, like I said, I'm your rational mind. I don't know if you would need to put the pose back to inanimate. I think you could just close his eyes. It just brings him back out of his alive thing. And when this guy turns away, then into space. Um, his eyes are closed. So you're only looking here, right? So I think that would be a nice touch to to close his eyes at the end. Something like I drew here. The other the other drawing I did here is on his eyes at the very end. You you know you're you're kind of implying he might be crazy. So it might be fun to do a, a slight asymmetrical thing with his eyes on the last pose. Uh, and I you know because of this awesome drawing you have with the eyelid pushed up, I would have this eye pupil higher on screen left and this one lower kind of basically what I drew, but that pose is awesome. Uh, the other note I had is, is I think this move uh, his gesture on his arm is a bit soft. You're British. It just kind of floats out. It feels like a little underwatery. Um, I think it'd be nice if it just kind of hit and over. You're British. You're, 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 it can come off slow. You're, but then on the British, it might be nice if you just had a sharper hand accent. So it, it just would drag a little bit on the wrist and then flop and then come back up. You know, you're British. Not quite as fast as I drew. I just drew. You're, I drew it frame after frame so you could see the breakdowns. But and I, I think it would happen on this move between 69, 269. And 277, that's when it would come out where it is. And then British, it would, by the time 77 is here, it would have its full pose. I think it would feel nicer than what you currently have. It just feels a little kind of mushy. British, like I said, I'm no national line. Huh. I like the offset in the last take. He does the take and then his hands. He's like, <gasps> I like how you separated those movements. That's really nice and organic. That's all I got. I think this is fantastic. Um, those are all suggestions. I, I don't know how much better they would make the animation. They're just uh, alternative ideas. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and uh, have a great day.